Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Is It Worth The Grind video and today we are going to be looking at the F8215B, the 183, the British Tier 10 tank destroyer. So, is it worth the grind? Oh hell yeah. But, with one if. If you are willing to lose a lot of money shooting he hash rounds with it. As you know, this thing carries hash rounds that's uh, uh, capable of doing over 2k damage per shot. So this is where the money is at. Because this thing without hash rounds is just a bad Eggmancer really. I mean the AP ammo has really nice penetration 310 but the accuracy and aiming time is E100 like. Not the Eggmancer E100 like the actual E100 like so three, even worse. 3.4 second aiming time it's like IS7 and 0.4 accuracy is not great as well for TD. And you can't really go in, in close combat and brawl with this thing since it has absolutely no armor. You always need cover and you, you usually want to pe shoot people in size to make sure that hash rounds penetrate. But before we get in too deep with the hash rounds and AP rounds, let's talk about the grind a little bit. So, the grind, I went through Churchill Gun Carrier which is an absolute nightmare. The, like, it competes to be one of the worst tier 6 tank destroyer and there's a lot of competition being the worst tier 6 tank destroyer uh, so yeah the church of gun carrier is not that great but it let, uh, lets you skip um, low tiers if you had the um, the British heavy tanks researched already which is kinda nice but the tanks from uh, tier 7 till tier 9 are kinda similar they have lowish alpha for a TD usually pretty nice pen and really nice rate of fire but they require a lot of patience because they're really slow, all of them. And uh, the armor is pretty good, but not reliable on any of them. They are usually really big weak spots. And here I roll kind of lucky. Full healthy, 75. Goodbye. <laughs> Love when that happens. So, yeah, without shooting Hish, this thing has the worst rate of fire. Uh, the, the worst DPM, I mean. So, basically. This thing is balanced all around the hash, which is a bit annoying since the hash rounds cost 8 fucking K per shot, which is really a lot. But then again, if you shoot hash, your DPM raises from like 2K to almost 4K, if not even more, per minute, so that is quite sick. But then again, there's not high possibility that you'll shoot that often and pen and do 2K damage that often. Well, maybe, maybe in this game, maybe in this game, <laughs> for e fives. So yeah, this thing is balanced all around hash ammo, so I highly recommend to shoot hash. And uh, remember that if you don't do, if you die, you usually lose money just because the repair cost is so high. But if you shoot all hash and miss like one or, once or twice, you'll lose money always. Like if you have a bad game where you snipe too much and miss too much. You can lose up to like 60k per game, which is highly annoying. But there is not a lot of tanks that can one-shot e fives like that, so yeah. Sometimes it's totally worth it. Uh, about equipment, uh, don't bother with binos or cam on it. Uh, go all the way for aiming and reload, so ventilation, gun leg drive, and large caliber gun rammer. Uh, why? Because this thing needs to help with the aiming and uh, accuracy and of course the massive reload that with uh, ventilation, brothers and arms, gun armor is about 24 seconds. Cruise skills, again everything that helps aiming, snapshot, to a smooth ride, all that. Repairs obviously, you maybe can take camera but it's not really necessary so yeah the most cruise skills is up to your sixth sense of course and yeah it's pretty standard maybe well the aiming things are really important, but yeah, it's really damn standard. So, how to play this? Uh, be sneaky. Take unusual spots like I did here. Don't camp in the regular TD spots usually. You don't have the accuracy to shoot that long. Like you saw, I, I knew that there would be somebody rushing through the middle, and I got unlucky that I didn't uh, do more damage to that defeat than heavy. But then again, I knew that he was there and I took advantage of it, as well as those Eastern E5s, they had no idea that I was here and I managed to get shots on their sides, which is really important with the hash ammo, you really want to be shooting people's flanks or rear, 
You can shoot them face on, not from this distance. Like this I7, I shot him a couple of times, haven't done no damage here in the end. I think I will kill him, but that's because he will be showing in the back of his turret. In the city maps, go ahead and trade shots. Like, you must be careful not to expose yourself to too many enemies, because everybody can pen this thing. Like, it has no armor to talk about, so... Be careful, aim, always aim for weak spots. Don't take snapshots, always aim for the weak spots. Otherwise, your the damage you took won't be worth it. But when you aim, you usually, especially after 8.6, you usually can hit the weak spots as well. And hitting a weak spot means from 1400 to more than 2k damage per shot. So yeah, aiming pays off in this thing. So yeah. The FA215B, is it worth the grind? I would say yes, just because of those shots I took on the EC5s. Shots like that make this tank totally worth it. Uh, the grind is not bad, but the tier 10 is quite troll. Some people say it's like artillery uh, on tracks and with proper heat hit points, and it's quite like that, and it's quite funny, and I love it. So yeah, it was quite an amusing game, but... Games like this makes this tank totally worth it, where you can one-shot some people, and this uh, screen doesn't show the proper credits, the last screen will show the proper credits, so I only made 700 credits doing almost 8k damage, so yeah, this tank doesn't make any money whatsoever. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.